Good evening, my name is Emily Campbell. I'm principal of Heartland Elementary and thank you for uh, joining us this evening. Uh, this is our Partnering for Progress tonight. Uh, this is our second parent event that we've had tonight uh, involving uh, handing out report cards. This is just an opportunity for parents to come and meet uh, with the child's teacher tonight. Uh, they will receive a report card, get a brief update on how their student has uh, done so far this school year. Also, we've been taking iReady testing, so they'll get a brief overview of that. If they'd like to, they can sign up to have a more in-depth conference at a later time. That's good for the teacher as well as the parent. Uh, we also have Amy from Silverleaf here that's going to be talking to our parents about wellness tonight. And then we do have a new PE teacher that the parents are going to be able to meet tonight as well. So um, it's very important that we do these events. And with COVID, uh, we have adjusted a little bit to that. But uh, we do feel like it's very important uh, to start getting the parents back in the building and show them what we're doing and, and informing them of their child's progress. Hello, uh, nice to meet you. I am the new uh, PE teacher, Mr. Lawrence, so really happy to be here. Um, a little bit later than expected due to the international travel and things like that, but got here nonetheless. Um, so no, today was great. We met with all the, all the kids, um, introduced myself to them, gave them time to listen to my accent and kind of explain <laughs> that if they don't understand, I'll repeat and vice versa um, and just give a little bit of background about me. Uh, I've been in America for three years now. Um, playing soccer at Campbellsville, um, so I was given the opportunity to come here after my academics finished and really happy. Um, so no, really, really excited to get going. Um, we had some classes in today um, with just general um, health and health and fitness, um, so that's something that I'm really going to try and kind of stress at least once a week, kind of going over nutrition and basic things like that, just to get them into some good habits um, for the future and then having fun alongside it. So I think it's going to be a good mix between my international background with going to school in Scotland, did half of my degree in Scotland and half in America. Um, and I think the kids today certainly were enjoying that I didn't know everything about the American sports, so they were teaching me as well. So no, it was a, it was a good mix. It was a good first day. And um, we had a lot of fun. So no, it was really good overall. All right. Do you have anything that you want to ask? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, being in Kentucky for three years, you said, right? Yes, I come okay. myself. And, uh, nice to meet you. Bye. See you in the classroom. And um, you got your teaching credentials at Cam uh, at Campbell's. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, just finished with um, a master's. Um, so no, it was a really, really good course, and was able to coach for the last year actually, which was a good experience for me, moving into the the world of teaching. So I'm no, really excited to get going was really impressed uh, with the students today in terms of behaviour. Um, they have a routine that they're in. It, it was brilliant. I was, I was in shock, to be honest. Um, so no, really excited to get going and get, get my own ideas along with what's been laid here before me and mix it up a little bit. So no, really, really excited to get going. Looking forward to it. I've not actually spoken about the local clubs, but something I'm excited um, to get involved in. I've done previous coaching. I have my own company um, in Scotland um, that I do in the summer holiday time. And because of the coaching that I did in Campbellsville, so I'm hoping to start that. Just from a show of hands today, there's a lot of soccer, a lot of soccer enthusiasts in this school. Um, so it's something I hope I can add. Um, I did actually show them some skills this morning, which they liked and enjoyed. So no, I just want to make them feel comfortable around me. I'm sure they probably never met someone from Scotland. So to be someone that they can go to whenever they need to um, and teach them some new skills. A couple of times I got asked to speak Spanish a few times and uh, why, why the Scottish people speak English and they thought my English was very good from someone from Scotland. Uh, so no, it was, a, it was a good laugh today in the classroom and I think it, I think it eased them um, a lot. The, cl the classes that stayed in the gym after with me uh, made me feel really comfortable um, because we had that icebreaker with the other teachers. So no, everybody here has been spot on so far, really friendly group. Um, and I have absolutely no complaints, just looking forward to the future now. Yes, absolutely. Um, so today was a good icebreaker um, for everyone we got involved and in they taught me a little bit about basketball and things like that and I was able to show them my soccer skills and stuff, so no, it was a good icebreaker. And Shane has said, by the way, he could be a soccer Yeah, there's a big soccer, and there's so many soccer oh, players yeah, in this school, it's massive, yeah, soccer, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, a lot of them, so, they both play soccer actually. Brilliant. So, and you call it football? Yeah, we call it football. Yeah, so there's a bit okay. of confusion yeah, <laughs> between that. Also before. Football, yeah. in, this, in this state, um, football is um, kind of of a sport. You hold the ball and you run with it. Yeah, you run with it. I'm going to be in football, and you don't know 
You're going to be super fast. Yeah, super fast. You're going to be the one that runs. No, that's a good. No, it was a good laugh today. I asked hundreds of questions about Scotland, so they maybe learned something as well. Yes, he said you had to take four flights. To <laughs> yeah, get here. four yeah, flights. Yeah, tell me all about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it took a while to get here for sure, but just with like I don't know COVID restrictions and international travel, it took a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, it was a it was a nice day for sure. And cool. Yeah, and no, I was re been really impressed to be honest with all the students in terms of behaviour and no, the. Everyone's so happy, you know what I mean? It's a good environment, so no, looking forward to get going for sure. Cool, all right. Well, I know they love to eat, so Absolutely. I'm sure to Yeah, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Do <laughs> you have any questions? No. Let's tell me about the new PE teacher. Yes, absolutely. Wanted to come see you in Yes, no, it was, a, it was a good day for everyone. Hello, how are you? Um, no, it was a nice day for sure. Just an icebreaker for all the kids and the ones who stayed in PE after because yeah. we had the icebreaker mm -hmm. felt a little bit more comfortable, I think, as well. So, no, it was good and I was able to kind of share my side of things and they were telling me all about their basketball and their baseball and their mm -hmm. American football. So, it was nice and we're going to be able to mix the kind of curriculum alongside health going forward because um, in Scotland it's kind of different. There's more of like a health, nutrition aspect put in sort of thing. So, it's okay. something that I've kind of said maybe at least once a week, something like that, get them involved in their nutrition and kind of just try to build habits for the future sort of thing more than anything. But no, it was a really, really fun day in terms of everything. They were all so energetic and no, it was a good, it was really good all around. So no, mm -hmm. positive vibes for sure. Looking forward to get, get going in the future. Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Mr. Lawrence. Uh, I'm a new, new PE teacher today. So my first day was meant to be two, three weeks ago, but just because of international travel and um, kind of the, the kind of COVID restrictions in Scotland right now, it took me a little while longer than expected to get here. Um, so no, I met all the, all the kids uh, this morning, so we had a bit of fun, um, kind of explained my background to them, um, kind of personally for the first time, so no, it, was a, it was a good experience, a nice icebreaker with them all. Um, they had lots of questions about Scotland, so I was able to tell them Lots about that, but just a bit about me. I've been, I've actually been in the States for uh, two or three years playing uh, soccer at Campbellsville, um, and kind of love, love the atmosphere across here. Um, and when I seen just before Christmas time uh, that the kind of job opened up, kind of applied straight away, and knew from the minute that um, I was here that it was going to be a good fit for me. So no, I'm looking forward to having all the kids and hoping that. I did half my I did my whole schooling in Scotland, so kind of mixing the curriculum from there with the sports we play to the sports here. Um, it's going to be fun and hopefully a place where the kids enjoy and have a voice. And I think from just today alone, kind of they were enjoying. I don't know, telling me things I didn't know about American football and baseball and educating me at the same time as well. Um, I'm big on. In Scotland, we have like a, a teaching approach called TGFU. It's like teaching games for understanding. So kind of play a game, get everyone involved at the start, and then kind of break it down and ask the kids questions like, how do you think that went? Uh, what could we have done differently? Is there any tactics you could have played to do it better? And kind of get everyone involved um, that way. And also, I like to include uh, kind of a health side of things. So just basic things like nutrition and getting the basic fundamental uh, dietary habits in place kind of to build on in the future. So at least kind of once a week, the main focus of the lesson will be uh, health-wise and then the rest of the week we'll kind of implement it and just, just with basic questions and brain teasers throughout. Um, I like to do more physical things, get everyone up off their feet and ask them questions as we're moving, as we're playing, um, rather than the kind of written paper because I see physical education as an opportunity to get up and get moving um, as much as possible but no it was a it, it was an enjoyable session this, mo uh, this morning this afternoon with the kids and uh, they certainly voiced their opinions about Scotland and had lots of questions and asked me to speak Spanish a few times and things like that so no it was, <laughs> it was a good day all around and I'm looking forward to get get going for, for the future for me personally I was surprised at the amount of kind of young soccer players that they were involved and the interest that came with that, um, but no, looking forward to getting a range and the facilities and the behaviour with the kids was spot on, absolutely. Uh, just in my training, did a few kind of student teaching places and it was chalk and cheese compared to here, so no, I'm absolutely just, 
delighted to be here. Um, the staff have been lovely and the kids have been great so far. So no, it's it's uh, it's been a good atmosphere for me. So I'll just be at the side after. If anyone's got any questions at all, happy to answer or have a chat. No problem at all. All right. So, all right. Thank you. All right, my name is Miss Amy. I actually am the lead prevention specialist at Silverleaf, which is the Child Advocacy and Rape Crisis Center. So tonight, because we are all under stress, life is crazy, I am going to show you a couple techniques. They're actually yoga poses that you can do to help relieve some of that stress, to make sure you breathe, keeps us healthier. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to cross your arms. Uh, and I want you to be an owl. So you're just gonna stretch your neck back and forth, maybe side to side. All right, I want you to look at your arms, see which one's on top, and you are going to flip them. So the top one is going to go to the bottom, the bottom is going to go to the top. And it's going to make you feel like you're in a fun house, probably. And it's because it makes both sides of our brain function at the same time. So when you're stressed, if you cross your arms and then you switch them, it actually will stop the stress hormone cortisol and increase the happy hormones, the dopamine, the serotonin, norepinephrine, all of those. So it gives you that little happy feeling instead of that anxiety. So it's a really good thing to do. Another thing that you can do is when you get dressed in the morning, we always put our same leg in or same arm in, switch it up. But make sure that you're standing close to something that you can grab onto because it's probably gonna make you wobbly, okay? The next pose I wanna tell you or teach you is called kissing shoulder blades because we carry our tension between our neck and our shoulders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our shoulders up to our ears like we're a turtle and I can so tell which ones of you guys are really stressed. All right, now you're gonna roll those shoulder blades back so they kiss. And you're gonna let them drop. There was like this collective sigh, I loved it. All right, let's do it again. Ready, shoulders up, be that turtle. All right, roll those shoulder blades back so they kiss. and let them drop. So, your kids are driving you crazy, your parents are driving you crazy, coworkers, partners, spouses, neighbors, drive through people, that's always my go-to, like they always drive me crazy. Um, kiss your shoulder blades, it'll help relieve some of that tension and stress. The other thing that you need to do is just breathe. And it's so important that what you breathe you actually breathe in your nose and you breathe all the way down to your belly button. And then you can slowly blow it out. Your lungs actually extend almost to your belly button. Like if you feel your rib cage, like that's almost as long as your lungs are. So it's so important that you take that breath in your nose, breathe to your belly button and slowly blow it out. So let's go ahead and breathe in our nose. Take that deep breath, feel it in the bottom of your ribs and slowly blow it out. So that's another really, really good stress reliever. And those are real simple things that you can do in less than 30 seconds. So do you guys have any questions? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Come show us. You want to see it? Perfect. Do you know what that one's called? It's called lotus. And lotus is a flower, and that's what we see a lot of times with yoga places, is they'll do the lotus flower. Good job. All right, any other questions or comments? Yes, ma'am. What, sweetheart? I want to show you my yoga. You want to show me your yoga? You want to come on down? 
I love that you guys are doing yoga. That makes me so happy. All right. All right. Ah, that's kind of like butterfly a little bit. That's awesome. All right. And so often we think yoga is all about like putting your foot behind your ear and like standing on a toe and yoga is all about breathing. If you can breathe, you can do yoga. And that's what it's all about. So I have self care books over here. I have some squishies. If you have any questions my email is on there as well um, I will answer whatever you guys have questions about whether it's self-care or whether it's our services for silver leaf um, so thank you guys so much Good evening, I'm Mrs. Stith here at Heartland Elementary. I'm a kindergarten teacher here, and we are here with some parents this evening. And one of the goals we have for this evening here at Heartland is for parents to come in, for them to receive the report cards for their students, and for us to be able to communicate what is on the report card, what do the scores mean, what kind of growth are we seeing from the fall semester to this winter term. We wanna be able to go over that with our parents, for them to ask questions, for them to receive information on what they can do at home to improve their child's success and how we can partner together to continue that success both in the classroom and out of the, out of the classroom. Um, parents also receive um, some data on how their child is performing in things like phonemic awareness and phonics skills. Those are both content areas that we look at throughout the whole year. So the parents get to receive that information and see how their child is performing. And then we always offer up a time for questions, a time for answers. And if a parent would like to schedule a parent-teacher conference, then they can do that too. So those are just some of the things we're doing here this evening, welcoming the kiddos in and the parents both. I'm Miss Ellis. I teach kindergarten here at Heartland, and we've been going over report card tonight as our parent teacher night, talking about where they're on are the continuum for their PA skills, their phonics skills, their sight words, and just talking about how the kids are doing in the class. There's been about 10 parents here so far tonight, which is about half the class. Oh, it's extremely important, and especially they work with Brinley on, with their daughter with sight words, and you can tell how much they worked with her. She's already mastered all of her sight words for kindergarten this year. It really helps when the parents are partners in education. Hello, I'm Dawn Rodriguez. I'm a fifth grade teacher and teach math at Heartland Elementary School. I'm here today to help parents understand their, where their child is currently at in their math progress. I've been helping to explain to some of the parents that as their iReady data is coming in, what some of those scores mean and where that growth or those needs for improvement are. We're also making sure that we are available and have sign-ups for them to schedule conferences at later dates if they would like to get more in-depth on any of the information and data for all of the subject areas here. Hi, I'm Brenna Griswold. I teach third grade here at Heartland Elementary. Uh, some of the things the parents have been interested in tonight are um, the iReady diagnostic data that's been coming in for the winter term, um, how the students are acclimating to the classroom, especially coming back from all the snow days, and their progress since the very beginning of the school year coming back and being full-time in the classroom. It's been a really fun night. My name's Annie and I'm in fourth grade and I'm really proud of my grades that I got this year. I got all straight A's and my favorite subjects reading. All right, my name is Mrs. Abby Wright. Um, I teach uh, first grade here with... Hi, I'm Mrs. Pennington, Brooke Pennington. We teach first grade together. We co-teach here at Heartland Elementary. And tonight we are having a parent night where all of our students and families get to come in and they get to get their report cards. We get to go over skills mm -hmm. that they've mastered, skills that they're working on, and just kind of get to have a conversation with those families and answer any questions, brag on their kiddos, yeah. uh, talk about their successes, maybe some things they need to work on too. Right. Give them some ideas to work on at home yes. um, is key. Parent nights like this um, to be able to 
kind of talk about the whole child and yes. um, things that they need in the classroom and also outside because we're all a team. More big, big uh, thing in first grade is our sight words. Yes. So um, trying to help parents uh, give them different strategies and uh, things to help them with their sight words. We give a choice board so it has, you know, chances for them to be able to ask questions about those different activities. Um, and then also is their phonics skills, math facts, um, different things like that that are quick and easy yes. that you don't necessarily just have to do sitting at the table at home. You can do driving down the road. Right. And we really reiterate that it doesn't take a lot of time to do these skills at home. We don't want parents spending 30, 45 minutes on homework. We want it to be quick and effective. So we're giving them some OG strategies like body tapping to help their child learn to spell that word, to memorize that word. Um, and just try to encourage parents if they get frustrated um, to always communicate with us so that we can help them. Right. Hi, I'm Ms. Burks. I'm a first grade teacher at Heartland Elementary, and I have just been reviewing report cards with my parents, any questions or issues that they might have. And going over some, we have some raw data from our already diagnostic just to give some parents some good news about their students' progress, and then any questions that they have. So that's what we've been going over tonight. iReady is a program that we are using uh, for reading and math in our district, and they have a diagnostic that we have now, we had it in September and then we're also doing it now for just a follow-up and then we'll do it again in the spring if it's replacing the map testing and then it's also a program that based on the kids ability it's tailored just to their needs and their academic levels to help give them some progress. Hello it's Miranda Savage from Harland Elementary. We're having partnering with parents tonight going over report cards and some iReady scores. We are super proud of the growth that our kiddos have seen with or that we've seen with iReady. They've been doing a fabulous job. It's neat to compare scores from the very beginning of the year to now. We've seen a tremendous amount of growth and we're gonna have a little party to celebrate and the kiddos have just blown us away and they've been trying their best and working so hard. So we're super excited and love the iReady program and we love the features that it shows on there, so. My name is Noah, I'm really excited by my report card. Hi, my name is Anisha Woodring. I am a preschool teacher at Heartland Elementary School. And tonight I had parents come by to get progress monitoring reports. It was very exciting to see them and they were very thrilled to find out how well their children are doing and how well they are prepared for kindergarten this year. I look forward to the next time we get to have parents over. My name is Hannah Wagner. I'm in fourth grade and I'm really excited about my report card. I got all A's. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students here at Heartland Elementary, we want to thank you for joining us tonight for our partnering in progress. We had a great evening tonight. We were great, uh, had a great time seeing all the parents and the students. Thank you again for joining us tonight. Have a great evening. <laughs>